hello i welcome you to this video in this video i'll be showing you how to import drawing from autocad to revit and this is in answer to a question that some of my students ask and without wasting your time let's get into it right away i have already uh, launched my revit and let me open a new file so that let's know that we are starting from a new project and the file i want to use is um us metric and the reason i'm doing that is so that the scale uh, the units of my drawing will be in millimeter everything will be in metric system okay so i have launch my revit and if i like i can set the levels i've already shown you a video that showed you how to set your levels if you have not watched that video make sure you watch that video i'll bring this one down then i'm going to select create similar uh, use peak and the offset will be 150 and set the offset to 3600 for your ground floor headroom then the thickness of your first floor slab set it to 150 first floor headroom pick it like that and let's get out of that command for this level for this particular level let's push this one up so that we can see our level proper this one i would like to rename it as level three no ground floor level ground floor level and click empty space you can see it's renamed here then i'd like to rename this one as level four that is a way i normally rename my own then this one i'd like to rename this one as first floor level and click empty space click yes now we have first floor ground floor okay so let's go to our ground floor and you see that it is empty then let's go to our autocad this is our autocad and i'm not going to import everything in this file to revit is going to make my revit slow so instead of that i'm going to grab only the ground floor plan and import it to revit so i'm going to escape for now let me highlight it then i'll type wb on the keyboard and the moment i type down wb you see this uh, w block i click ok then this dialog box will open i will set this one to millimeter then click on this button this is the one we have created before let me delete this uh, let me also okay let me leave that then let's give it a name can give it a name as ground floor okay so i'm going to click on edit and set the thickness to 225 and the material i will start creating the material from default wall I will duplicate it as 225 wall 
and change the color to something like off white and click ok click ok again and click ok click ok again okay now we have our wall and if you want to be sure that your wall is 2 to 5 let's pick our dimension and dimension this line you see that this is 2 to 5 it is correct then we want to trace this the outline now i pick wall and i make sure it's the wall that we have just set i know that i know the wall i'm dealing with and i can set the height to stop at level four you remember level four is the surface of the first floor slab and here i'm going to set it to wall faces exterior and such i can if i like i can draw if i like i, I can draw now as i'm drawing now i'm tracing the outline of the wall i go like that I can be going and drop it uh, and if I like I can pick but sometimes it is more preferable to draw and sometimes it is better to pick whichever one that work best for you you can use any method that is better for you let me trim it and let's look at it in 3d you cannot see that we have started raising our wall on the autocad drawing and i hope this video has helped you then this is the ground floor what about first floor What about first floor? If I want to import the first floor I have in AutoCAD, if I want to import the first floor I have in AutoCAD, this is the ground floor for this plan. This is the first floor. I will do the same thing, the same step we did before. Highlight it. Uh, type WB and click WB block then click on this select this one to millimeter uh, where's my millimeter and click on this button name it as first floor and save it click ok and you see that then go back to our revit and go to first floor and import import our first floor go to insert and import car and import card select first floor this time around and this one is in millimeter everything is okay and click open and simply drop it here okay we drop it there now we want to place it exactly on the ground floor but we cannot see the ground floor now there are several ways you can do to be able to see the ground floor and in this case i may want to use reference plane i may want to use reference plane so i'm going to place a reference plane where we have staircase because every other thing can change 
you may have cantilever on the first floor but the staircase is what always remain constant and that is why i always choose staircase when i'm i want to place my my first floor rp so this is where our staircase is if you like you can even use line so if i go to first floor now and i can place this one exactly where my staircase is i pick it from this corner and i drop it there so i can start tracing now and you see that it will stay exactly where the floor plan is supposed the first floor plan is supposed to be to stay there exactly this is just to show you example i may not make it uh, too fine just to show you example of what i'm talking about you go like that you trace the outline let's trace the outline we go can we go around let's try and go around and make it loop And now let's let's try and join it together now let's see it in 3d you can see now that our plan is sitting exactly on the ground floor plan and if you see it in 3d now you see that okay there is no cantilever here there's no cantilever on any of them okay okay there's only cantilever somewhere here there's the cantilever here okay so that is how you can import your autocad file to your revit and i believe this video has helped you if this video has helped you make sure you give me a feedback and i would love it if the feedback is in video format so looking forward to see your feedback you can just uh, pick a phone and just say something about me pick a phone and video your face and say something about me and i will love it i will appreciate it okay thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye